Hello everybody, I'm back. <laughs> and thank you very much for everybody, sorry, bending over there. Um, thank you very much for everybody for who has um, joined my group. It's absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much, all of you. I can't comment on the giveaway at the moment because like I said, my, my comment will be counted and I don't want to win it because I want one of you to win it. <laughs> So I get a, I will comment after the draw on all your lovely comments that you've put there. So bear with me on that. I have seen you. Um, right, what I'm going to do today, I thought I'd do is because I can't actually do this for very long. Because, again, my, I've had to take my daughter somewhere today to a couple of appointments she had. And, you know, it's getting late and it's actually near tea time now. But I thought what I wanted to do is do start doing a bit of decoupage on some of these envelopes that I'm going to use somewhere in this journal. So they're, they're sort of all different shapes. I've got one of these. Uh, this is a tiny envelope, but it's really thin and I love it because it feels very old. So I thought I'd put some decoupage on that. Been coffee stained. These, um, I think, if you're in the UK, these come from the range. I think they're in the... The wedding section, I think they're little place cards or, or card, little tiny cards anyway. I think they're by Do Crafts. And they're they're quite nice. But they are quite thick, actually. But I thought I'd do a bit of decoupage like that because that can always be a pocket, you know, which is quite nice. So I'm only going to decoupage the front on there. Uh, the envelope I'm going to do sort of like all over, really, and odd bits because that will be put in loose. This one, I most probably only do the front. Okay, this one's already done. This is some of my sister's papers that she does because she just does these wacky papers and I absolutely love them. She plays around with paper and drops ink on it and does all sorts. Bakes it in the oven with other wet pages of, with ink on. And So I thought I would just distress this one a little bit more, but I actually like it as is. I really like that, so that's going to go in the journal as well. So, what to start with? Oh, and I got another couple of napkins from Tina. Thank you very much, Tina. Lovely. So, I've got another one of the other one I've got, which was that one and that one. So, that's great. So, I'm okay now because I've got all those. And I printed some out, didn't I, as well. So we've got plenty of decoupage in through the journal now, which is great. This is beautiful. Lovely. Lovely sunflower. So, But I might do some tags with those. Okay. And what I'm going to do with this one is show you what I've given away free. So, which I thought would be nice. So, which is this here. And I, I know some of you have already printed out the butterflies and started cutting them out <laughs> which is great yeah no I'm not very good at fussy cutting anymore so I think I would quite like that now I love this one because I love this shape of it sort of twirling around the page and I would quite like it going up there now I'm going to use this one this little one here with text in the background Okay, with the sunflower on. So that is going to go there. So I'm going to rip that up a minute. Oh, the seagulls are very quiet today. Sorry, everybody. Can't hear them. I might open the door because it's not cold in here. Actually, I'll just go and open the door. They are quiet. I think there must be loads of food for them to eat in the key. <laughs> a lot of holiday makers around at the minute. Okay. So that's going to go, I reckon, about there. glue watered down remember two to one oh I hear them now <laughs> I actually don't hear them very often 
to be honest. I'm so used to it. And I hope you all are well. I sent the giveaway to Australia today. So that went this morning. Um, well, yeah, this morning. Yeah. That's on its way to its new home. Better if I put that on straight, wouldn't it? Got to be careful now. <laughs> the word if that's I don't mind the flower not being straight it's the word it has to be straight for me there you go we're gonna salvaged <laughs> Okay, leave that as is. Now let's do the envelope. I'll do the front first, I think. What should we have? Oh, we're going to have to have one of these, aren't we? Sorry, I'm miles away there. I should be doing it in front of you, so. off the page with that one there or off the envelope I should say Got to have a butterfly, haven't we? I love this butterfly so much. I think it's one of the smaller ones, so we'll use that. Yeah, definitely the smaller. Okay, that's that one. Got one more little one to do. And I will do something on that as well, but it needs to be dried first before I carry on. But this one, I'm just going to do through here. I'm going to do something flying off, a butterfly flying off up there, I think. And something on here. with this I'm just gonna tuck it over okay like that. There we go and let's see if we can find a little butterfly there's one up there that's tiny that'll be perfect Right, so that's those three done. Let's, I'm going to definitely make some tags and things like the butterflies, a few things like that, and also even decoupage the back of some of the tags that you know that we've already got in the kit. So do something like that because I can't add a lot to this journal because it is a writing journal. So I want to try and keep it that way. It's very hard for me to do that, but I'm going to really, really try and make an effort. I'm not adding too much, so even if I do a load of things and actually put it in with the journal, but it doesn't have to be in there because I, I feel as though I can't, can't do the journal or I can't decorate the journal without any of my own bits and pieces in it as well. 
right so they're all dry now so I'll just show you how I finish them off again I'm gonna sand those bits off here but very lightly because you don't want to go through and then I, as you know I like to sand over the image because it makes it nice and smooth So, and then we can tear that off now. Do this top. I'm just going to trim that bit in a minute. Do the same with all the others. Be careful when you do this. <laughs> you don't go through the envelope. That's fine. if it's done sort of really gently and just slightly keep going over it actually looks and feels as part of the page you cannot feel like you've decoupaged over that now all right so it actually looks looks and feels like you've printed on that okay but yet again you know be careful where you're sanding but it really does work because i was I think I've said it before. I did have a problem with decoupage on the, on things at one time because I I just I it, the texture was just a little bit too rough for me. But now I do that, it's fine. It's, it's a bit close, so I'll sand that off rather than. There we go. That just peels off then. Corner there. From years of um, years ago, I used to decoupage furniture, so I think it was all the sanding I done, and to get it nice and smooth, and then put a layer of um, varnish on, and then sand again until it was like glass, you know. And I really loved doing that. Okay, right, you see this one here, I'll just show you. Um, we've got a little bit of white going on here. So what I do with that, I'm going to distress that a bit more anyway, but I use the ink and just blend a bit. Just make sure it's not too much on there, that's right. starting to deteriorate now but I've had these 18 months I've just ordered some more off of eBay I think I've got five for one one pound something which because I was paying from a pound for them in the pound shop so but like I said it's just starting to break up now look and that's about 18 months I've used these so they haven't done bad Okay, and that's got rid of the white, yeah. I mean, I'm going to do the whole thing, so. I might need to go a bit darker with this one. It's not really showing up now. I didn't want the dark all over there. Let's 
this is very wet, so I'm being a bit careful. not to be rushed because building up ink is better to do it slower. and I spritz it and then I'll dry it quickly okay that should help okay all done all right this one I put need something else on the back here okay but those are those ones that I'm doing that one's fine because I, I do like what's going on the, on this one just need to grunge up a little bit not too much though on this one because it's already quite grunged up and I love it the way it's looking oh the door's gonna open there. I just found myself script stamp oh there it is that's what it is okay found that on Amazon yep so, I'm going, oh, I fancy, let's have a bit of coffee, I think. I quite like that coffee one. Again, it's, I'm not doing it perfectly, so let's try a bit down here first. Okay, we can go a bit heavier than that. Just checking. There we are, a little bit down here, like so. Okay, that is quite random now. Lovely job. I'm going to do this one now, but I'm going to decoupage some more on the back here in a minute. going around here so we could put a little note in there if we wanted to I do it with the typewriter I slip them in the typewriter and just write a little little address sunflower valley <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that's original isn't it <laughs> There we are. 
lovely. Still not 100% happy with that one there. But. it's the right way because I'm going to have it in as a pocket you see so I'm not I'm not doing the, the back there at all okay I would oh, a little bit on this one um, yeah I wasn't going to alter this one at all but I've changed my mind up in that corner just to balance that there okay and then this one has to go upside down all right because it shuts that way so Okay, so that is just altering a few envelopes and things. I need to just clean that one off a minute. And again, we add, I usually add fabric and things like that, but I won't do that till I know where it's going. Once I know where it's going and whatever colour is sort of around the page, then I'll try and work with that, okay? But we've got a base now, all right? which is nice okay and there's all those and we need a stamp on here don't we let's see I actually go to them it's got a local Oxfam shop and they have little bags of stamps so oh I've got a nice yellow flower there and so I buy them from Oxfam normally for that nice yellow flower there perfect I never had a stamp at all. Nothing interesting anyway. Just the British ones. We need to vintage that up a bit, don't we? Yeah. Um, this is vintage photo. It's so wet, this one. Let's blend that one out a bit. Okay, and now we need to make it look like it's part of what was going on. So I'm going to go and get a stamp to stamp across it. Okay, found my little stamps and also found a stamp to go on there. So I'm just going to stick that down a minute. Okay, right. I think that should stay on there all right. 
they use black because they they um use black don't they to do things like this so there we go same on that one This one is. I'm just going to stamp that a minute. Oh, that's fine. It's all a bit like a blank one, really. I wasn't sure, so yeah, that went right there. I think so. There we go. And that's them. And then all we've got to do now is just add a bit of fabric. Maybe here, maybe not actually, because it's got the washi tape on there and that's worked quite nicely. Quite like the way that looks there. This one definitely, because I've left a space to add some fabric there, and maybe a little de decoupage coming down here a little bit, I think. Yes, let's. Trim that a little bit off and sand over it a little bit. It's not too rough, this one, so it's like it's always been there now. Okay, and then we're going to have a bit of material up here, uh, maybe something down here, like a little saying, yeah, down on that bit. And that's that envelope down. It feels so good, this envelope. It's like, it's almost as thin as parchment paper. Okay, right. Must get on because I keep feeling things. <laughs> I have, I am a very tactile person. I do like to touch things when I'm working and I, it's like I'm stroking paper. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Mad. Mad as a hatter, they say. Never mind. I'll just put that away. Okay, I found some quotes that I printed out um, earlier. Which, if you go to my Pinterest, I've put there's a board on quotes there. I put some of the sunflower ones I've used. So you know, just I printed this on vellum last night. So they're all done, and then backed it with double-sided sticky tape. Or if you're in the US, I think you use score tape. Okay, so that's all I've done there. All right, and then I cut them out, cut them up as I want them. All right, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. They work. All right, so I've thought that one would look nice here. I've added decoupage sunflower along that edge there. Yeah, so get the bracelet out of the way. So I shall add that now. But there we go. Because it's on vellum, well, this is tracing paper actually. It just takes on the card. It's brilliant. And I'm going to stitch that there. Okay, you could glue it, but I want to stitch that because I want some threads coming away from the envelope. All right, and then what's I going to do on that side? That side I don't think needs anything. Okay, that's perfectly fine as it is. So that's that one there. Then I found another one quote here. Which I thought would look nice. Yeah, because the eye like the way that looks. So you don't need anything on there. And then I thought we'd put this one down the bottom there. I think it actually sparkles like sunshine. That's nice.
go. And the other one was, we've done put something up here, haven't we? Stand strong, be a sunflower. Okay, right, I'm just going to go and sew that on. Okay, that sews done, that one's there. This one, I'm going to put some lace across the top here. Okay, just because, you know, it is very thin, these envelopes here. This one I'm not sure about. I'm really not sure, I just think it's a bit, bit too dingy for me. Um, I might find how I brighten it up. I might gesso it a little bit and then put something else on there. So, but I will show that, what I do with that, to try and um, show you what to do if it gets too dark and you're not really happy with it. You know, I get that a lot. So, and that's how I sort of learn, really, because I want to correct it. So, you can't can't beat that, really. This one here, I think I'm going to have to, because it's a little bit fragile in that area. So, a little bit more washi tape there will work, but which I might do right the way along there to keep that nice because it's a lovely envelope, that one. Really pleased with that. And really pleased with this one. Love it. So I just need something to go in there now, which I will do exactly the same theme as what's going on here. A little card to go inside there. So that's that one. And then we've got this one here which again, with a bit of lace on that somewhere, that will brighten that whole thing up. Okay, because we've got this here, we've got some light coming in across here, which draws your eye straight along there. Where at the moment, we haven't got anything drawing our eye on this one, because it's all similar color. So this one again, your eye is around here because of the lightness. So your eyes go straight to that light. And here it's fine. That's it's good because your eye goes straight away down to this bit here, which is the lightest. Yeah, and here. All right. So it's negative space. I think is important. So I shall see you tomorrow. Bye bye.